Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today to do a thrift store haul. And this is a thrift store that I love. Um, it's not a chain thrift store, so it's not like Goodwill or Salvation Army or anything like that. It's just like, like a one location thrift store, which those, in my opinion, are the best thrift stores because um, usually it's still true thrift store prices and there's no new things. I've noticed that Goodwill sometimes brings in like new things, which I don't really like because, you know, I'm looking for vintage or old or something to reuse. But with this type of thrift store, you just never know what you're going to find. And I found some really cool things at this thrift store. Now, unfortunately, and this makes me so sad, they're closing. I think they might be moving, but they're not sure yet but they're closing and when the pandemic started this thrift store like of course closed but even as it wore on the pandemic it stayed closed so I kept wondering about it um, but now I found out that they're closing so everything must go but they are giving some pretty good prices they're now only open like once a week and they are getting more stuff out of storage to put in to sell so I kind of try to go there when they're open and see what I can find this is what I found on the first day and I really focused on textiles because they have a lot of outdoor fabric and upholstery fabric which is something that I've kind of been wanting to find more of. I'm trying to branch out a little bit and I want to find, I want to work on some journals that are a little bit more about texture. So I found these fabrics. I think they're so pretty. This has like a gold sheen to it. I'm not sure how I'm going to wash these because they have a sheen to them and I don't know if I want them to lose it, their sheen. Um, but a lot of these things have Febreze smell on them and I just I don't like that <laughs> I don't like things to smell like chemicals um, but I think this is so pretty it could go into um, more of an eclectic journal or even if I do like a Marie Antoinette journal or something like that, it's so, so pretty. So got that. I found this small piece of this beautiful fabric. It's so vibrant and it's the weave is very big, but I just, I love it. I even love this like edge right here. And then I found this, which I love. This is the exact kind of thing I'm looking for. Um, it looks like either outdoor fabric or upholstery fabric. And then this more textured one. Since I found these, I'm just like, I wanna jump into journals like this next don't know if I'm going to but I really want to I thought this was really cool as well so pretty and this I thought this was really different love that and I've also been looking for textures like this more slippery, a little bit shiny. So I got that piece. And then this floral fitted sheet. I just love this floral. So cool. I love floral that has a teal background. So I can see myself hoarding this. <laughs> All right. 
then I found some cool things. They were charging by the pile. And she's just kind of looking through it and saying, okay, this, like, this little bunch is a dollar and then this is a dollar or whatever. Um, but she was like, okay, these two things are free. And I basically, like, if I had to put everything back except for a couple things, I would keep these. So I guess they, of course, don't care about vintage, so that's great for us, right? <laughs> But this is such a cool book. It's a bridal shower um, games book, ideas for games. And I just thought it would be cool to use these pages. I love the color of them. It'd be great for a bridal junk journal. And then I found this. I've never seen this. Um, it's a Nancy Drew mystery activity book. So, and this is from 1977. I've never seen anything like this. So I thought it was really cool. All right. Then... And they were kind of saying things were 50% off. I mean, it ended up being cheaper, but I saw $3 on here. And I was like, okay, this for $1.50, like that's really good. It's a vintage bingo game for a baby shower. This alone would make an adorable junk journal. These cards are really cool. thought there were more colors but yeah really cool if I had a if I was like throwing a baby shower I think I would use this first before cutting it up um, and even these pieces are really really cool because they're like just cool colors and they're cardboard and they're very simple um, but it's white, brown, and pink. I just love that. And it, there's a whole box of them, so I don't know what I would do with them. But I think I could definitely do something. So yeah, the whole box is full. So I thought this was a really cool find. And then another really cool find is this other bingo game, vintage, for a baby shower. It's taped up, and I'll open it because, I mean, this is already kind of A little bit messed up already because of what they already did to it. Let me try to be really careful. Alright, let's see what's inside. I mean, the envelope alone can be used for something, for sure. Okay, that almost sounded like a bunch of dirt on the bottom of the bag. But there are little pieces of words. But I like them a lot. Because of the font. It just looks vintage. So that would be really cool to use for something. But why would the words be cut up for a bingo game? Um... Okay, this looks so vintage. I love the look of this. The font, the color, even this cardstock is, it's almost like 
um, parchment paper, the resume kind. Love that. And these are so freaking cute. The little markers. I'm guessing this is for a girl. So I think just this kit alone. See, isn't it? Oh, these are the calling cards. So you pull them. Yeah, if I was throwing like a baby shower or something, I would use this also. I think this is cooler than the other one, actually. But yeah, I think this is going to be really really fun to use that's just so adorable and there's so many of them all right that was a fun find that would have if she would have charged me singularly for it it would have been a dollar fifty which is which is cool all right this is a box of Kate Greenaway note cards the box alone is super adorable and I don't know what this is, but it looks like a vintage card. To my Valentine, John teased me just for fun. Stole my heart and away he ran. My heart was sweet and John was sweet, but love will stop him down the street. <laughs> it says design copyright 1909 in this corner here. Sorry if it's dark. Um, but I don't know when it's from. Oh, it is old. It looks like copyright is 1911. So that's a cool little bonus there. Yeah, and then I love that handwriting. And these cards. Let's take a look quickly at the envelope. Um, they're really cute cards. love this one they're little caps and then this one is super cute too alright and then the last thing I found was this little baggie of something that looks really fun so let's see what it is inside And I figured I could use these in a journal because they're felt and they just look like farm animals. Oh, this is for, um, it's like for elementary school. And you tell stories and you stick it stick the animals on as you tell the story like I guess this is Noah's Ark and that matches I mean I think it's super cute oh it's a felt book and there's a little caption in the back it's quite a, called a quiet book that's pretty cool And the images are actually really pretty. That just looks so vibrant. And it's, it's felt. All right, so that was a fun find. So that's all I found on the first trip. There is, as of right now, another haul waiting in the wings where I found a little bit more. Um, but I hope, to, I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up down below if you did like it. And consider subscribing to my channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching today. And I will talk to you next time. Bye, everyone.